Hello. Today, I don't have a feature, but more of a feature request from Blender to the community. Because it's November, it's the month of the beta. It's just a matter of weeks until the beta comes out. And one of the biggest things in every release, it's that regardless of the feature, yeah, yeah, they're cool, is the image that you see, the splash screen. This image that you see as soon as you open Blender, this very nice uh, uh, hero uh, frame that we have in the Alpha 2. For the first Alpha, we had the Wanderer image from Daniel Beisted. It was one of the, the biggest and the, one of the first big um, showcases of Eevee was back then. So it was well deserved to have the very first splash. Then Hero came out because the Grease Pencils, like major, major thing in Blender 2.8 is one of the reasons why a lot of people are going to switch to Blender, I bet. And uh, now it's time for the beta. And the beta, what does it mean when the beta comes out? It means that it's going to be full of bugs, full of things that no one wants to fix because they just, that has too deep in the code. And, and uh, for that, we need power. We need developer power. And for that, we have the Blender Development Fund. So this is the topic of the, um, the splash screen for the beta release. We want to um, somehow let people know that they can contribute to help Blender, that it's actually something that you can do. Like if you're really into Blender, you, there are ways you can support core development. Yeah, if you want like specific features, yes, of course you can you, you can also contribute to that. But the core development, the one that keeps Blender going and growing and stable, especially that part, making it stable. 2.7 is is quite quite rock stable. I mean, the last release had over a thousand bug fixes from previous releases from, and and 2.8 is it's gonna need a quite quite some help in that because so much has changed with the dependency graph, with the new OpenGL, with the, all of that requires um, yeah development power. So we need a way to show this in a splash but without mixing, making it look like an advertisement. That, that's when you artists come and help because it's very hard to convey, right? All of that is like, yeah, like you can help Blender, you can make it, uh, you can contribute. It's like a family, like a, um, like, like a contribution to, I don't know, this is like a tree that grows. I don't know, it's a, you can go crazy. But uh, that's, the, that's the target. That's the, the message of the splash screen. And of course, it has to be like engaging, positive. It has to be. Uh, you can read the blog post here by Ton on the user feedback forum on developer uh, on devtalk.blender.org. I'm gonna add a link in the description. But yeah, basically that without actually making it look like an advertisement that you wanna click click away whenever you um, whenever you open Blender. It has to be nice. And yeah, maybe try avoid having the Blender logo like so explicit there. Maybe it can be like hinting, but not specifically. Uh, we try to avoid having Blender logos in the splash screen forever. So yeah. Then also the image has to be 16 by 9. That's the, the aspect that we're using now in, in the Blender um, here. This is 16 by 9. And try to make it work in like this composition, right? Like uh, this uh, horizontal composition, maybe three thirds or so, but it really just go and do uh, whatever looks nice. Also, the image has to have permission. Uh, it has to be um, some kind of permissive license so it can be used and reused and shared because it's gonna be shared all over the place, magazines, uh, websites, everybody should be able to share it. And even better, extra points if you make it CC0 or public domain, and if you share the blend file, you're gonna even have more karma points in your life. Who doesn't want that? If you share the blend file, it will be shared on the uh, Blender.org websites with, of course, a credit to the to the to the creators, and also your name will appear on the splash screen that will be downloaded a million of times. So, isn't that nice? And yeah, please. Um, <laughs> you don't have a lot of time, though. It's been it's like ten days from now. It's the deadline says 14 November, maybe it can be a bit more flexible depending how the release itself goes. So yeah, that is like the deadline. But yeah, keep in mind that just something nice. You know, you open Blender, you don't want to have like super complex things, just a nice color, something inviting, warm, I don't know, easy to read. And whatever you would like to see when you open Blender for the next months or not. I mean, for the first beta, maybe the, the beta 2 could have another message, beta 3, until the stable release. 
All right, so that's it for now. There are so many other things that I need to cover from Blender that have been actually happening in like EV and the interface, but I will leave that for another video and I will see you there soon. Ciao.